Hi there, remember me? It's Anne again. A lot has happened since the last time we spoke. We decided to move mom to a retirement community and we sold her house to pay for her care. She is very happy there and has a lot of friends. Our parents' house along with their two condos were in her trust, so everything was safe. So we thought. You see, my aunt Sally just passed away and my cousin Jennifer told me that she and her siblings are now fighting over their parents' investment properties. Why is that? I thought the trust kept their property safe. It is hard to watch my cousins fight over real estate after Aunt Sally died. What can we do so this does not happen to our family? Since my brother George is the oldest, he's the trustee of Mom and Dad's Trust. George got a job promotion and he now lives in Seattle. He thinks we should sell our parents' properties and split the earnings evenly. The problem with that idea is that Mom will be responsible for tons of capital gains taxes. That doesn't make much sense to me. My friend told me that they were able to create a legacy with their parents' properties before their mom died. Not quite sure how that works, but we should find out. George wants to buy a condo in Seattle near his office. My sister Lucy has been thinking about moving back home with her family, and she wants to buy a house here. And my other brother Grant, he wants to buy a condo for his son who's going to college. For me, I am busy as ever and I just don't know what to do. We could all use the money, but don't have the money to use. Who can help us make these decisions about mom's properties? How does mom create a legacy for us and her grandkids? Is there a way to help everyone and prevent a family dispute after mom dies?